Whether you're really good or just starting FIFA career mode, everyone should know these tips to instantly improve your game. Number one, I know it's boring, but always attend the press conferences before the game. I know it's boring, but it's only three questions and it can boost happiness of players, boost the club happiness itself, and it decreases the chances of you being sacked. Number two, this is a really underlooked one, but youth scouting is one of the most important things to do. In finding a youth scout, try go for the ones with the most experience and judgment. If you try to get the best, you will get the best results out of it. The recommended area for scouting is Central Europe, North America and South America. Here you will find the highest potential best youth players to get. Another tip, if you don't already do this, put development plans on players. What this does, it gradually increases rating of the player. For example, if we look at David Raya here, he's on balance right now. I'm going to switch him to a sweeper keeper. What this does, it improves handling, kicking and positioning. If you want each stat to be equally upgraded, I would just go for balanced. But the quicker one is, like as you can see, balance takes 74 weeks, whereas the sweeper keeper only takes 26 weeks. I would really recommend putting every single player you have on this to improve their rating. Another thing that's really overlooked is to train your players, especially your reserve players. What I like to do here is when I go to squad, I build a separate team sheet of reserve players only. As you can see here, I got a team sheet of all the reserve players. So what I do here is when training, I change the team sheet to the reserve team sheet. This means I'm training the reserve players so they keep their fitness up and their sharpness up to maximize their potential. Another thing is never to simulate. What you do first is play your drills until you get at least an A or B grade. Then after that, simulate them. Because if you simulate them without doing that, you'll only get D grade, which is not good. There's a lot of different training practices to do, but when you've done all of them, simulate them and you'll get all A's and B's. This will also increase the potential of your reserve players. It's a great thing to do and I'd really recommend it. Before we get on to the last tip, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And the final thing that many people neglect when playing FIFA career mode is to rotate players. Rotate players between the bench and the starting 11. Rotate players between the reserves and the bench. Always do this. It keeps happiness levels up. It keeps players happy. And if you don't, players will become unhappy and want to leave. Now and again, if you're playing a really, really bad team, say Man United was playing like Accrington Stanley, put your reserve team on. Let them have a chance. Another extremely important tip is to watch this video in here on common mistakes people do on FIFA career mode. Click that here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. See you.